peace and blessings uh, this is something I just saw and I wanted to share big shout out to uh, the Groxed one who uh, motivated and inspired this video and uh, I really appreciate your service love your videos and don't be flustered and frustrated with people I know how it can be sometimes but you've got a gift and he said that uh, those who have eyes to see and those who have ears to hear you've got eyes to see sometimes when you show something I, I can't see it until after you point it out and you know I can feel my flesh rising up and make me want to say well no I, I, I don't know that's objective but you know you you you, you really got uh, you got a, a gift and it's a peculiar gift he said that his people would be a peculiar people uh, but all right let's jump into this thing now I've done a video already on 777 and uh, uh, I'm not going to rehash that information so if you want to see more about 777 besides what uh, was just revealed to me moments ago then you want to look at that uh, video if you so decide to do so but it can and I've also done one on Siri and that was expanded upon uh, by what brother uh, Grox had just uh, shown and proved that sometimes when you say well you know show me some proof or uh, where did you get your research things get scrubbed okay anything that's too indicting of the powers that be or that could be too easily uh, brought forth for everyone to see and, and, and maybe to wake up uh, too many people at one time then they will scrub that but they'll leave certain things up because they want to see who will catch it first and you know when you catch it first and you get out there with it then you know they're uh, more aware of who is more aware but July 27th was the date that many people had done videos about and had made postings about uh, saying that if you asked Siri like you can ask Siri a lot of odd questions and oddly enough there are responses but if you asked Siri what Siri what is July 27th prior to them changing it Siri would say to you July 27th opening the gates of Hades and we know that Hades is the Greek equivalent of hell now this all has to do with the increased demonic activity that's coming upon the earth and the return of Messiah, uh, which is at hand, uh, Maranatha. Okay, so let's look at July 27th. And why would they put that out and then scrub it? Sometimes they put out signs and symbols uh, to draw out the elite and the elect of the Most High. And then sometimes they do that simply to speak to one another. Uh, you know, some of these technologies were for uh, the powers that shouldn't be first before they were brought out here to be bought by you and me. But July 27th, I looked at some things after uh, the Grox showed some things too. And when I broke down July 27th, I found, uh, you know, by way of their numerology, I didn't do the gematria on it, that might be interesting too. But just to look at July as the seventh month, seven plus two plus seven equals 16 to do their form of numerology to open up their playbook and see what play they may be running or what code or uh, symbol they may be giving one another you have to break the numbers down all the way and of course we don't believe in these uh, occult uh, practices but we need to have some working knowledge of what the enemy and his peons know and understand so when you look at numerology you have to break down the number to one single number so those seven plus two plus seven equals 16, then you have to do the math on one plus six, which is 16 broken down. And there you get seven again. So there's two sevens, okay? Some of you are already making some connections. Then I looked at the fact that it was 2014. And the 14, when you write the date the way that we all write dates, you know, commonly, you don't put the beginning part of the date, but you put the ending. And 14 is, of course, two sevens by itself. So then I said, well, let me do the whole numerological, numero numerological thing on 7 plus 2 plus 7 plus 1 plus 4. And that equals 21, which ironically is 7, 7, 7, three sevens together. And why is that significant? Well, because we know that uh, these uh, theistic um, slave masters, they do have a theology that they follow they hide it uh, in 
cloak it in other things. Some people will point and say, well, it's the Catholic Church. Or some people even will say it's Christian religion. Some will say it's Islam. But in reality, they are Luciferians. And they uh, believe in demonology. They believe in the conjuring of demons. And they believe in uh, ritually indoctrinating you and I into inadvertently not only accepting their conjuring and celebrating it, but also in inadvertently uh, allowing things to come through us as well. And our people do perish for lack of knowledge. So when you look at 777, what does it mean? What does it have to do with? Well, first of all, the star of the show and that uh, trio of numbers is, of course, seven. And seven, we're told, uh, uh, most uh, believers are told that seven is the number of completion or the end, as in the world being created in seven days. Well, it also has to do with uh, the demise. The end of something can be the demise, i.e. in Detroit 187, which came on Channel 7 here in Detroit, ABC News. Uh, uh, is uh, It's an ABC station, which is a Disney station. We know Disney is all about mind control. But the 1 plus the 8, the 9 plus the 7, 16. And again, 16 broken down is 1 plus 6 equals 7. And it was a coded way of saying the completion or the end of Detroit, with the end of old Detroit, and the bringing forth of a new one. And then, of course, 7, uh, 7, 7, 93, 11 was a big song uh, on urban radio by a group produced by Prince, and we know Prince's involvement in this uh, whole thing and uh, his work that he's done for his uh, masters, for whom he, you know, termed himself a slave at one time and cut slave in his beard, but he produced a group and was heavily uh, behind the group, you know, where you can hear him singing background vocals on just about every song. But um, they, they had a big song called 777-9311. I remember as a young guy calling that number and my cousins and friends and stuff was calling that number like crazy until finally whoever had the number they they got it cut off but all of those numbers involved in that phone number and I know he had a story like there there will be backstories that will be lies secret you know you tell a secret you tell a lie but uh, or you, you know you keep a secret you tell a lie but uh, and, and I don't mean when someone takes confidence in you and telling you something private I mean when you're in a secret society and have that level of secret a secret oath you'll tell a lie if you'll take an oath but uh, a secret oath and what we see here is three key numbers involved in numerology the 77 or the 777 the 93 and the 11 and yet a backstory was that that was somebody's number some producer or some uh, some guy from the uh, studio and music business that was uh, tight with Prince and that was supposed to be Prince's way of uh, uh, pranking the guy that's what we're told but we're gonna look at a couple of things not much but uh 93 when you break down 93 oh and again you have the three planes involved in 9 11 if you take out the three in 93 11 you have 9 11 but the three pl planes that were involved was flight 77 flight 93 and flight 11 what a coincidence, or like I like to say, coincidence. But you also have had the, the disappearance of Flight 777. All of these things are all uh, ways that the hoaxes and rituals are encoded so that those who are involved in the Brotherhood understand that they're moving forward with their agenda. And, and also, you know, kind of a way to throw up their gang sign to the opposing side which would be the believer so that they can see you know hey we are moving forward we're doing what we said that we would do uh, in spite of you and it, it's it's uh it serves that purpose as well don't don't discount it as well as to try to draw out and see okay now who is aware among the people who do we have to be concerned about who do we need to put in internment camps and close down public schools first but the 93 the 9 plus 3 the 12 that is also, again, symbolic of the end. The end of what? The end of the clock. You have the uh, 12 disciples. Uh, you have the uh, 12 months of the year. Okay? You also have the 12 hours of the day. And they believe that the midnight hour, or the 12, the end of the clock, 
will symbolize the end of the old world order, the beginning of the new, the end of the old empire, or the rise of the new. And 11 has a couple of applications, one of them being it's almost the end. We're almost there, almost time. But the most important one is it symbolizes duality. And if you see the 11, it also is uh, symbolic of the two towers which were involved. And again, you see, uh, if you take out the three, if you remove the Trinity, mockery of the Trinity, if you remove the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, then they will be left with 9-11, they believe. Uh, but also it has to do with duality, always duality. The wizard, okay, who is who believes himself to be both man and deity, okay, really the wizard is uh, filled with a demon spirit, so it's two of them. So there you have the twins, 11 representing the twins in duality. Also the duality of mind control, having an alter ego or alter personality. And an alter, like alter, A-L-T-E-R, is the same as A-L-T-A-R, believe it or not. E and A both have the same origin, and in reality E is just another form of A. Even in the sounds that it makes, A can make the same sounds. And A is the original vowel, we talked about that before, in the... Uh, spelling spell videos but it has to do with duality the wizard or the magician and again with being almost the end and the nine and the three being the end of the order the end of the age and the mockery of the trinity nine and three uh being twelve all right now let's look again at who told uh, uh, about the opening of the gates of hades was well, siri which is artificial intelligence personified don't believe that um, it's lightweight jamming like they want you to believe okay that is uh, symbolic of a demon inhabiting electronics which happens all of the time if you're spiritually aware and if you're you know aware period it's happened to you probably a number of times and you may believe it's always the alphabet boys but it does not have to be uh, they can do things a lot more economically and efficient and they don't have to have a, a spook walking around following you as in the uh, slang term for an agent but they can have an actual spook as in the slang term for a spirit which is another analogy of agent smith being both uh, an agent and a spirit being okay a demon but siri told us and of course we know siri is a play and i said this in the other video of uh, that that i made a week or two ago about Siri and July 27th but Siri is a play off the word Siri us it's obvi us and the us at the end has to do with the os or os of Osiris 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 and Sirius is the dog star of the Dogon tribe I wonder did they call themselves the Dogon tribe Dogon backward is no god they did have a God indeed and they did say that their God uh, their God taught them about Sirius the presence of Sirius A and even Sirius B which was until uh, uh, I think this is some 40 years later undiscovered by conventional science we're told but we know that because scientists are often just about without exception brotherhood members and very important to the brotherhood at that and they would have certain secret knowledge that they would not be able to put out in your face until the appointed time. But we're told that the tribe called the Dogon tribe said that the fish-headed ones would come and tell them about the stars and teach them things about astronomy that uh, they would be unable to know simply with their naked eye. And of course their civilization is one which we would call primi primitive and not having any telescopes or any uh, a real telescopic ability, uh, scientists found it wondrous that they were able to see this star. Now this could all be an implanted story to help to give reptilian demons the glory. Because we know the fish-headed one, these green beings were uh, nothing but more uh, uh, evidence or uh, more tales of reptilians on earth interacting with human beings and even their um, art depicted that they had artwork 
and, and uh, little sculptures which depicted women laying down in uh, sexualized positions with the breasts in cone uh, shapes which was to show fertility or to show sexual readiness and alligator headed beings lurking over them in the Dogon's art in their sculptures but Sirius Siri and Osiris the connection between the two uh, we know that this was also uh, important to the Egyptians and Osiris was the green king called Osar in that time but uh, known in modern times uh, by the Greek the Osiris and he was the green king like you see Krishna always symbolized with a snake around his neck or like you saw the pharaohs with the uh, Uraeus or the serpent at the tops of their headdress Osiris was green and this had to do with the exaltation of the reptilian being who was the one who taught mankind about royalty as mankind practices it uh, today and of course uh, he went first to uh, well that that uh, particular type of demon was powerful and well regarded in Egypt just look at the temple of Hathor look at the depictions on the temple of Hathor of the royalty interacting with long slender serpentine beings hence earth wind and fire serpentine fire and this has to do with the magic and the demonology of the elite because also there is the importance of the of the uh, mate of Osiris who was Isis and when you see the obelisks which is the shape that the uh, Washington Monument is in and we know uh, there's been a lot of uh, videos exposing the importance of the obelisk which is a phallic symbol and that has to do with the story of Osiris and Isis where uh, we're told that Osiris's evil brother Set which is where you get Seter okay and the temple of Set but Osiris's brother uh, set him up and cut him up and Isis used verbs of power words of power to go and find the uh, dismembered pieces and the last piece that she had to find was the phallic symbol and then he was assembled he was reassembled and it's symbolic of them again uh, through by way of their magic which is by and large uh, Crowleyan forms of sex magic Crowley uh, overstood that through uh, sex rituals sex magic rituals uh, he could get more accomplished uh, than by any other types of workings and, and you know he called his rituals workings so the uh, importance of sex ritual magic to the elite is huge and it's been talked about a number of times uh, even in uh, Bryce Taylor and uh, Kathy O'Brien's uh, writings and lectures they talk about the importance of sex and uh, using uh, magic over sexualized slaves, over sex slaves. And this is where you also get the MK Ultra mind control beta program sex slaves that people talk about like Rihanna, who ironically had a tour called the 777 tour. Another thing I looked at with the 777 and when I uh, found out some more things about Crowley's book by the same name, Alistair Crowley. Yes, the leading magician of the 20th century, the leading wizard who helped to refine the rituals for the uh, honorary degree the 33rd degree where they tell initiates finally that well the source of the light you've been looking for is Lucifer and Lucifer is really God and he's a good guy and the quote unquote God of the Bible he's a bad guy he's an angry jealous God and he wanted to keep man uh, locked up in the garden and Lucifer set man free which is where you get Charlie Wilson saying uh, just like Adam and Eve you said you set me free in the song you dropped a bomb on me now we know Isaiah said and Jesus quoted that he saw Lucifer fall from heaven like a bolt of lightning and the traditional way that light that the lightning bolt is drawn is three sevens if you look at it look at that seven at the top seven at the bottom seven at the top seven at the bottom and seven in the middle oh my god even this way you got the upside down seven you've got a backward upside down seven and you've got another seven here. I mean you've got a right side seven, you've got an upside down or inverted seven, and you've got another one at the top. Either way you traditionally draw a lightning bolt. We've seen that on the costume of 
superheroes or super heroes, heroes, which are to symbolize fallen angels, Nephilim and Raphael. And the superhero, the Flash, wore that on the front of his costume. All right, uh, somebody recount the tale of the Flash, and I'm sure there'll be more uh, secrets that are stashed. But even on the album cover for Zap, who used electronics and technology that we know now the real root of technology is technology, and that that comes from, by and large, from beings who taught mankind, like Dogon said, that the uh, serpentine demons taught them. And these are beings from other dimensions, not from other planets. Harry Potter, even with the lightning bolt on his forehead, also if you look at the video for the, uh, the unclean being called Centipede, the song Centipede by Reby Jackson, we know comes from a family who was under this mind control, her brother famously so, but Reby Jackson had a song called Centipede in which uh, a similar symbol is shown on her head. But Zap was well known for making uh, electronic music, for taking electronic music to the next level and making the voice box popular, which is now revitalized by the auto-tune, uh, which is no doubt not only the, the, the uh, same intent as the voice box, but it must be the voice box 2.0 to where they've done something to make that robotic voice more hypnotic, and which is why it's very prevalent in music today. But yes, Rihanna had a tour called 777. And uh, Revelations 9 talks about the key to the bottomless pit. Okay? Uh, the 27th figures prominently because, again, it was the 27th that uh, Siri talked about. But, again, thanks to the Grox, we looked at the fact that the 27th is seven days out from July 20th. And some interesting things happened. And have happened on July 20th. First of all, historically, it's the siege of Jerusalem by Rome. When? In 70 AD. Another seven. Seven plus zero. In 70 AD. July 20th. The siege of Jerusalem by Rome. And, you know, the fallen beings are behind these things. These so-called powers that be, some of them... Uh, aren't as smart as a box of rocks but they're guided by beings who are millennia old and uh, they tell the things that they are told and they do the things that are often shown and certain things that have been showed because they have an understanding of time and of numbers and of seasons and signs uh, Genesis 1 and 14 that we don't have but in Revelation 9, it talks about the key to the bottomless pit being given. And uh, that's so key. Perhaps we'll look at that. Revelation 9. But July 20th was also the date of the moon landing. And, and we know how important that is. The moon being uh, very important. The ancient moon cults. Uh, the worship of the moon. The uh, symbolism of the night. Well, all things done in the darkness will be brought to the light and they do much of their devilment in the dark. But in Revelations 9, And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, like the lightning bolt, like Lucifer falling, from, falling like lightning. And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. So in Revelations 9, which is the 2 plus 7 in July 27, uh, it happens to say the same thing that Siri said about the date itself, the 27th itself. But it's one week out, and we know that the weeks, the months, the years, they themselves have certain uh, spiritual symbolism and uh, importance. So one week, as the seven-day uh, theory was, of course, originally shown in Genesis, not originally shown by Tupac, but the importance of seven days is important. You know, you practice things for a week, you know, to begin a, a habit, but they say 30 days really takes uh, uh, you to the level of, of taking something from a practice to a habit. 
but July 20th is also the beginning of the zodiac sign that they call Leo which is, ironically is Obama's sign and he makes comparisons to himself as the Lion King he is the king of lying so he's the Lion King but it also has to do with the uh, scripture that compares the devil to a roaring lion well it says like a roaring lion or as a roaring lion so he's masquerading as the lion of Judah masquerading as a real lion but not a real lion okay so uh, the beginning of Leo has to do with that as well as well as it's a sun sign and their worship of the sun is notorious you often will see Obama pictured with bright sun uh, behind him there's one very famous picture where he's throwing up the Baphomet with the sun so bright that all he appears to be is a dark figure throwing up the Baphomet but 777 is the name of a rather a notable Crowley work book which is really titled 777 and other Kabbalistic writings of Aleister Crowley having to do with the Kabbalah uh, one of the keys like the lesser key of Solomon the Goetia one of the keys to opening up the spiritual realms and people believe uh, allowing them to work for you in reality they work through you and they work you too they work you to death but this book 777 and other Kabbalistic writings of Aleister Crowley was introduced by Dr. Israel Rigardi which when I looked at the word a couple of things jumped out at me to regard something well to disregard something is not to pay attention to it not to think of it not to consider it so to regard means to think of or to consider so that has to do with considering Israel looking at Israel now uh, it's also in, in, the, in the title sometimes you'll see Liber 777 which we know in Latin or in, uh, uh, in French of Le Libre which means the book and in Latin Liber which means book but also it is the root of where we get freedom and it has to do with mankind's deception that by knowledge he will be free books giving you freedom Liberty Libra Liberty the title refers to a lightning flash. This was from uh, Wikipedia. But this was from another work Wikipedia was citing. But it says that the title 777, according to Crowley, refers to a lightning flash. Again, we have Isaiah's description. A lightning flash descending the diagrammatic worlds, the zigzag pattern, suggesting three diminishing sevens. And it was published in 19... 73 Crowley and symbolism of three sevens so that may give us a little more to go on as we approach this date which is 15 days away two weeks away so as we approach that date we need to be looking out and uh, those who have other things to say and other things to add need to be adding those things so we can uh, perhaps make them rethink their drink or at least be aware if nothing else mentally and emotionally aware and prepared but more importantly, spiritually aware and prepared. It is now time to be on fire for Messiah and to give all praise due to Ahia, to the Most High, the true and living God, and to repent for the kingdom of heaven draweth nigh. And this is unplugging.